when us copy is gently advanced into the stomach through the ge junction then it is slightly rotated counter clockwise the left lobe is visualized in this position left lateral segments s2 and s3 is scanned and on further clockwise rotation we came to see umbilical portion of the left portal vein and high echogenic band extending from the umbilical portion of the left portal vein this band is ligamentum teres on further clockwise rotation the ligamentum venosum courses from the transverse and umbilical portion of the left portal vein to the ivc this helps to separate the segment s1 and s4 and further clockwise rotation and slight forward movement of the scope highlights the hilar structures in the hilum we can see the three structures that is a hepatic artery portal vein and below that it is cbd particularly it is very easy to see from the g junction if it is dilated the above one is hepatic artery middle one is portal vein below one is a cbd after evaluating the hilar structures you can just further clockwise rotation highlights the posterior structure here you can see the abdominal aorta and various branches arising from the abdominal aorta the first branch is celiac trunk and below that is a superior mesenteric artery from this station we can evaluate the various branches arising from the celiac trunk also the first branch arises from the celiac trunk is left gastric artery after evaluating the various branches of the celiac trunk we can slight forward movement of the scope highlights the body of the pancreas normal pancreas looks like salt and pepper appearance pancreatic duct look like hypoechoic structure in this linear examination we see the cross section of the pancreatic duct and here you can notice salt and pepper appearance of the pancreas just below the probe posterior to the pancreas here you can see the two major vessel that is the splenic vessels there is splenic artery on right side below that is a splenic vein sometimes if you closely observe you can see observe the renal vessels also after evaluating body of the pancreas to evaluate the distal body and that to reach the tail we should gently do clockwise rotation and withdraw the scope towards the tail of the pancreas while doing so you can evaluate the distal body and the left kidney and the left adrenal gland after well this is a triangular seagull appearance the left adrenal gland just above the kidney and on further withdrawal and clockwise rotation we reach the splenic hilum and pancreatic tail region this is a pancreatic tail region by doing anti clockwise rotation you can reach the portal vein confluence at the portal vein confluence you can clearly see the formation of the main portal vein by splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein above that portion of the pancreas is neck of the pancreas and the below the portal vein you can see the head of the pancreas also
here only with single movement but there is an extreme anti-clockwise rotation too by doing clockwise rotation we can evaluate the left lobe of the liver hilar structures abdominal iota pancreas left kidney left adrenal gland and finally spleen and apart from these structures we can evaluate the inferior vena cava and various hepatic veins here you can see that pulsatile structures are cardiac chambers and here you can notice intrahepatic ivc is opening into the right atrium ivc is opening into the right atrium